Okay, we will start today with example number one. This is a very introductory example for rectilinear motion. This should be actually a review from your physics class, but we will do a couple of examples for review. In particle travels along a straight line to the right with a velocity of v equals 4t minus 3t squared meter per second. And we want to find the position, acceleration, and the distance travel in four seconds. Therefore, by the acceleration. We know that the acceleration is the derivative of the velocity, and we have the expression for the velocity. So we will derive it, that expression, and that gives us 4 minus 3 times 2t. And we want to evaluate that in 4 seconds. So that will give us 4 minus 24, which is 20. And our, what are our units? Meters over second squared, right? So our first answer of our acceleration is, our acceleration is negative 20 meters over second squared. What does that mean, the negative sign? Particle is deaccelerated. So we can imagine that we are traveling in a straight line, right? This is t equals zero, and this is our particle. And the, even though it is traveling in one or the other direction, it's deaccelerating. Let's find our position. We know that the velocity is the derivative of the position, right? So we can actually integrate the velocity in, in both sides of the equation from s0 to s, from t0 to t. So if we integrate, we know that this is, and then we got the integral of the velocity, but we have the function of the velocity in our limit, t0 to t. So we do our integral, let's do it over here, for t squared over 2, minus 3, this is 3 squared, so it's 3 t cubed over 3. That is 2 t squared 3 cubed. We evaluate that and it's 2 in 4 seconds, 4 squared minus 4 cubed, right? If we evaluate that, we get our initial position, we start for t equals 0, our position, we can put our coordinate system right here, so our position, initial position, we can say that is 0. We have 4 squared is 16 times 2 minus 4 cubed, that will be give us minus 32 meters. Our final position for t equals 4 seconds and t equals 4 seconds. It gave us also a negative value. What does that mean? means that if we, our particle started in our zero position, t equals zero, it went somehow to the positive and end in a negative value for t equals four seconds. So it means that it went some distance to the right and then some distance to the left. How do we know that? Because if we analyze this equation right here, and we plot our velocity, this is a parabolic equation, and we can actually say that this is t and 4 minus 3, t equals 0. So for t equals 0, we have 0, and for t equals 4 thirds, which is 1.333 seconds, is 0 again. So our parabolic equation is something like that. So our velocity was positive, but it became negative at t equals 3, 3 seconds. So that leads us to our final question, which is distance travel. We know that we went some distance in the positive direction for t equals 1.33 seconds. And then we went back that same distance, and we went all the way to 32 meters. So we can evaluate our distance in t equals 
three seconds, and that gave us two times 1.33 squared minus 1.33 cubed. That gives us one point, I have it here, meters. So this distance right here, I can put it, this distance here was 1.186 meters. So if we want to calculate the total distance travel, will have to be 1.186 meters in that direction. I came back 1.186 meters, and then I traveled 32 more in meters. So the total distance travel was 34.37 meters. So we answer the three the questions that we were asked. Acceleration by deriving the velocity, position by integrating the velocity, and the distance traveled by analyzing the formula of our velocity. Right here, and then we discover that we travel more distant than just the 32 meters for the set, uh, t equals 4 seconds.